87% of C-suite executives are feeling the pressure to implement Gen AI solutions. They're feeling that pressure to do that now, rapidly, at speed, and at scale. Now couple that with 76% of those executives are also excited about the potential benefits of Gen AI. But what's not listed here is there's a, another stat in the research as well that 36% or more than a third are expressing concerns about misallocating enterprise resources that could be better used elsewhere. So that excitement is really tempered with a bit of that concern. In a traditional post-editing workflow, you would typically post-edit everything. But with this, you're basically saying, okay, I could take away 60% of the post-editing that we need to do, which has major implications on time and cost in this case. And then that all goes to language specialists who either do the post-editing task or the review task. And all of that information, all of that change that's happening along the way is captured and it's basically put back into the models previous in this sort of chain. There is more and more ask for synthetic data. For example, let's say we are training a chatbot and we want some specific language related interactions that need to happen. So can synthetic data be generated and then utilized? I don't think we have internally used synthetic data as such, but from our client interactions and some of the other industry experts, we have seen that there is growing need for synthetic data. There's a synergy that comes in between the technology as well as the human element. So let's embrace genuine intelligence, which is really where our transformative technology could head, but obviously with the help of our human intelligence.